Well, here in Milan, it's known as the Derby della Madonnina in honour of the famous statue on top of the cathedral. I'm Derek Ray, joined for commentary by Stuart Robson. It's Inter against Milan, and Stuart, this is always very special. You're absolutely right, Derek. This has the makings of an absolute classic. Great stadium, bitter rivalry, and two very good teams. This should be entertaining. Here's the Milan team. Mike Mignon begins in goal. Teo Hernandez starts with Davide Calabria in the fullback positions. And getting the vote of confidence in attack today, Olivier Giroud. The Inter starting lineup. Samir Handanovic begins between the posts. Milan Skriniar plays alongside Stefan de Frey in central defence. Hakan Chalhanolu starts alongside Marcelo Brozovic in the centre of midfield. And Edin Dzeko starts alongside Lautaro Martinez. And the match begins. Inter did well to regain control of the ball. Dumfries. Well, play stopped. It is a free kick. Barella. Martinez. Well, he's thwarted him almost effortlessly. And space to attack. Well, so many reasons to highlight Lautaro Martinez, not least because he can be so effective. Stuart, what do you think we might see from him in this game? Well, Derek, I thought he was brilliant last time out. Scored a couple of goals, but it's his general play as well that was excellent. Must be! And there it is! The opening goal of the derby goes to Milan. They're pumping up the volume, and why not? Here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, and then what a finish. That's been hit with such power and pace, the keeper has no time to react. It's a brilliant strike. The match has restarted. 1 0 here. A room to roam on the wing. A deep delivery. Well, not quite the cross he was hoping for. Brozovic. Good bit of pressing. And nicely struck. High echelon goalkeeping there.
Can he deliver it with accuracy? And clears his lines. Barella. Well-timed tackle. An incisive pass. It's gone in! Well, they're really in the mood here. Can they be stopped? Well, here's the goal again, and it's a really nice ball to put him through. The vision to set up the chance is outstanding, and the finish is clinical. He just makes it look so easy, doesn't he? So, 2-0 now. Well, strong play here. Giroud. And the keeper flings himself at the ball. Who can he pick out? And clearing his away. Another perfect position to read it. Well, as those stats show us, Milan haven't controlled the possession. But that won't bother them because when they win it in deep areas, They've got forward with pace and with numbers. It's been a great counter-attacking display. And intercepted it. Kessier. Giroud, chance here, and it goes, well it's one goal after another, a highly impressive performance. Well just watch this again, a change of pace, a change of direction and a decent finish, that's a very good goal. So the live action continues, it's all Milan, they hold the aces. Delightful pass. Well, not a cross that will live long in the memory, goal kick. Well, that just hasn't happened today for Edin Dzeko, much to the surprise of many, Stuart. He just hasn't been able to affect the game so far. He hasn't had too much of the ball, but even when he has, he's not looked threatening. Almost at half-time, and they're making home advantage count, I think it's fair to say. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, when they play like this, they're such a good team to watch. Their passing, movement and finishing have been of the highest quality. If they continue to play at this pace for the rest of the game, who knows how many they could score. Terrific piece of anticipation. Well, without putting too fine a point on it, he's missed it. We've had the official word, there will be a minimum of two added minutes. Sloppy in possession from Inter. Diaz, 
And he's made headway. That is that for the first half here. So the second half is underway and still reflecting on a sparkling first 45 from Milan. Kessier. On the ball, Rafael Leao. And snuffing out the danger. He's in here. Tries to lift it. Still could be dangerous. And there it is. A goal. I must say, much to the annoyance of the keeper. Well, here it is again, and I feel a bit sorry for the goalkeeper because he makes a very good save to start with. Where are his defenders following in? It's the attackers that get there first, and it's a very good finish. And we're underway again. This game very much over as a contest. And he scored not once but twice. They simply cannot stop him. And no wonder he's enjoying himself. Well, here he is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. My goodness, it's so one-sided. 5-0 in this match. Martinez. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. Well, they've decided to make a change. Alessandro Bastoni Barella has it he'll try his luck here well it could have been a better effort and I think we were all expecting it would be An effective challenge. Well, Inter couldn't hang on to it. This attack looks highly promising. Brozovic. Alert defending. This might be ideal for the counter. Will they profit from this situation? And not cleared away properly. A goal! How about that? He's put it away to make it a hat-trick. Well, here we can see it again. Normally I'm the first to point the finger at a goalkeeper, but I think it's a good initial save. I'm not sure he could have done much more. Just a bit unfortunate, really, that it dropped to an opponent. some out and out pasting 6-0 take some progress with the ball at his feet into the final 20 minutes Vecino not advantage with them referee says play on and the penalty has been given here. And the referee will take his name as well. Yeah, it was a poor challenge. And the referee is absolutely right to take his name. A 
and the spot kick is converted as calmly as you like. Well, as you can see, the keeper just stands still and the ball's hit down the side of him. It's a strange one in the end. Might really be able to trouble them here. But nothing comes of it. Messino. Barella. And it's with Dumfries. Inter have given away possession. Diaz. Well, here's the replay, and what a well-delivered cross this is. Perfectly placed, and I think the keeper's made a mistake here. While it's a decent finish, it should go in at that near post. Just ten minutes to go. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Well, it was a foul, but good use of advantage by the referee. But it didn't end up being a significant advantage. And so a free kick here. Well, just a rebuke rather than a caution, Stuart. Well, it's not a bad tackle, and the referee's got that right. And they will make the change now. Making excellent progress with the ball at his feet. The referee correctly decided to play advantage. Not showing good defensive judgment. Nearing the end of the contest, and Milan are cruising, quite simply. Well, what can you say about this performance? They've been at... Well, it's a really poor challenge. Now, what's the referee going to do about it? And following the infringement, a caution. Yeah, no surprise there. That was always going to be a booking. Any goalkeeper would be disappointed if he didn't save that. Martinez. Perfect tackle. Alexis Salamakers. And the flag has gone up here. Offside the decision. And so the referee blows the whistle. That is the end of the game. And Milan victorious. What did you think of their performance, all told? Well, Derek, they were the better team all over the pitch. We saw good individual performances. We saw an attack which was always threatening. And they played really well. What a performance that was today.